this is the morning ritual, the hair straightening. Well, it's not been a morning ritual considering the fact that I haven't done my hair since I broke my hand. Okay, cousin it. <laughs> but I'm going to the doctor's today, so I'm trying to look a little decent. Uh -huh. And this is very hard to do with a broken hand and not burning yourself. Uh -huh. How's it looking? It looks great. Yeah, I can feel it right there. See it? That's going to be on the bottom when you put your it hair back. It doesn't matter. It still like leaves a lump. <laughs> okay, dear. You should do it for me. <sighs> Because I can't even tell if I'm getting it in the straightener. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at me. Come here, let me straighten you. Uh, I don't think so. That's why I wear a hat. Yeah, well, I don't have hats. I can lend you one. No, I don't want to look like you. <laughs> All right. How's it look now? Looks great. You're, if I feel it and it's still there, you're going to get hit. It's still there. Come here. <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> I need your hockey stick. <laughs> okay, so I have to move this coffin into the garage. Luckily, I have a gurney. Go figure that I have a gurney. Now, the coffin actually isn't that heavy, but uh, Val has filled it with stuff. So, it's a little heavier now. And so I am going to get it up onto the gurney using leverage. Everybody. so we are on our way to my doctor's appointment I attempted what I could with straightening my hair Kevin helped a little bit um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing he doesn't know what he's doing <laughs> but uh, there's still some spots that aren't straightened this is gonna be hard with one hand doing anything um, so, you guys are going to have to forgive the way I look for a while. I didn't put any makeup on. So, oh well. The well, problems of hurting yourself. Continuous hurting yourself. Hey, I haven't hurt myself in a long time, so back off, buddy. <laughs> it's because you've been in surgery for the last three months. I haven't hurt myself in a long time. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Promenade Avenue. So, everybody needs to back off with the bubble wrap and the bubbles and all that kind of stuff. Give me at least three injuries before we start talking that no kind more, of stuff again. No more injuries. 
That's no what I'm more saying. Turn left onto Promenade Avenue. That's what I'm saying. Give me three injuries before we start talking that kind of stuff. Because there will be no more injuries. Yes, dear. This was a fluke thing. <laughs> <laughs> was it really? Yes. All right. It really was. For the girl who's broken both of her wrists by falling over backwards. That was when I was 13 or 14 years old. Get over it. Jeepers. You tell one story. In one mile, and, turn right onto North McKinley Street. And you tell one story and look what happens. Jeepers. Anyway, we're on my way to see my preventative medicine doctor. Those are the doctors that ordered you my gastric. You should have seen him a week ago. Maybe he could have prevented that. Can I finish talking, please? No, I had to get that zinger in there. We're on our way to see my preventative medicine doctor. He's the doctor that ordered my gastric sleeve surgery. Um, he's the one who will check to see if my blood sugar and my blood pressure, right you know, you keep interrupting me <laughs> <laughs> to check and see if my blood pressure and my blood sugar and all that stuff is good. And um, he will start t taking me off of more medications if I can come off of medications and yay. So I'm feeling good in that aspect. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll catch you after the doctors. So Kevin, what happened? Nothing happened. We're on our way to see your doctor. How come we have to get off the freeway and get back on? Because you won't stop talking and I got distracted. Oh, so it's my fault. Of course it's your fault. You cannot talk to Kevin when he drives. Okay guys, so I just weighed in and even with my cast, I'm at 155, so losing weight. Yay! What'd you find? These are some pillow covers. So, I have to be K. This is actually fit our pillows. And then ampersand. I don't see a V. <laughs> Figures. But they've got. What are you trying to tell me? So I can get pillows for Boomer and me. Oh, for you and Boomer. Right, and Boomer. Yeah. Where do I fit into this equation? Half a cent. Oh, I'm the ampersand. I don't have any bees. So I'm the ampersand. <laughs> You're so sweet. This would be perfect for me for Thanksgiving. Um, it's not a turkey. It's a goose. It'll make me act like a turkey. No, you don't need to act any more like a turkey than you already do. No goose for you. No booze for me. Don't drop it either. I don't want to have to pay for it. No booze for me. No booze for me. They don't me. have any V's anywhere in this store. Valerie just doesn't exist. No V's. Plenty of K's and B's. I don't even see an M well, for a mojo. Well, then maybe you should divorce me and marry Boomer. <laughs> nah. Just so you can have your... Anagram? Monogram? Monogram pillow? Monogram pillows. K and B. I gotta train Boomer to cook first. Okay, we gotta have him in our yard. Groovy, man. No, not him! What? Him! Oh, Snoopy! Snoopy! May the gift be with you! We gotta have Milby! Uh, Sorry, I don't have any nuts to feed you. 
I only uh, have one nut to feed you, but he has to drive me home. Are you sad? No, I'm not sad. Eeyore. I'm not sad. I'm happy! I got a new onesie! <laughs> I had to get her a onesie so she'd let me wash her other one. <laughs> I didn't want to take the other one off. This, this one's a little different. It doesn't have an open bottom. Oh, so you're gonna. But that's okay. But it's got a zipper and a yeah and a hat. Yeah. And a hood, I should say. Hey, everybody! Kevin and Valerie are not here, so they asked us to sit in for them. Uh huh. Daryl's hitting on Monica J. If Valerie was here, she'd be pretty upset about that. Anyway, they asked us if we could do their closing for them, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video. I'm not a monkey. And and if you did... She's a donkey. Please. <laughs> please. She's, she's a blue donkey. If you did enjoy this video, please give it, I'm only allowed to use one thumb, but I would like to give it a lot more thumbs, so please give it thumbs up. I'm an Ewok. <laughs> and if you haven't already, please press that little red subscribe button down below and follow along with the neighbors, Kevin, Valerie, and Megan, because... They have an awesome channel. Got an itch? I have an itch in my ear. They have an awesome channel. And share this video with all of your family and friends because if they get to 10K, then maybe I will have my tail sewed on permanently. And there will be no more pin the tail on Eeyore. Aww. I got a tail back here somewhere. Is there a tail back there? Ow! Don't fall on my tail. Sorry. Anyway, Valerie and Kevin says bye, and they will see you guys next week. Thumbs up! Bye. Bye.